and welcome back to Spell's Classroom. Today, what we'll be doing is continuing our nutrition series. So what we'll be talking about today is reading labels. It's reading food labels. So we'll be looking at a label and kind of thinking of what we want to be looking for when we're choosing foods. Um, obviously, um, you know, moderation is a good practice with certain types of food. Um, so, first we're going to talk about why is it important to have a healthy diet. So, you know, you're going to have better school and work performance if your brain is getting, you know, the energy, the vitamins, the minerals, and the nutrients that it needs. Um, it helps manage weight and prevents, you know, overweight and obesity. Um, it's going to reduce your risk of chronic disease and reduces the risk of early mortality as well. So we want to look beyond calories. We don't only want to look at calories. So inside of a label, it's going to have, you know, sugars, fiber, saturated total fat. You know, you're going to want to look at those and then making your choices on that. So if you think about a 12 ounce um, can of Coca-Cola, it's got about 155 calories. Whereas if you had a 12 ounce, you know, cup of milk, it's a low fat milk or maybe almond milk or you know, coconut milk, it might have, you know, 100, 150 calories. So it's not very different, but when you're thinking about making those choices, the calories are the same, but the nutrients and, you know, carbs, fat, and protein are all going to be very different. So you're going to want to look at which one has a better food label. So if you were to choose, you know, a 12 ounce low fat milk has 154 calories, 12 ounce cup of Coca-Cola has 155. But if you look at the labels, they're going to be very, very different in terms of that. So also thinking about a 12 ounce cup of orange juice has 164 calories. Whereas orange soda has about 179 calories per can. So again, they're not very different, but which one do you think is healthier? Orange juice or the orange soda? Yeah, probably the orange juice. You're going to get more of these nutrients, vitamin C, and with the soda, you're going to have more added sugars. So you want to limit that. So let's think about... A one ounce of pretzels or one ounce of chips? Which one do you think has fewer calories? Yeah, the pretzels, they have about 108, whereas an ounce of chips has about 152. So it's really not that much different, but you're also going to want to look at, you know, your fat, carbs, protein, and vitamins as well. So let's think about french fries and a cup of noodles, so about one serving, let's say about 15 french fries and a cup of noodles. Which one do you think has fewer calories? Yeah, so the noodles have about 200 and about 15 french fries has about 250 calories. So calories do differ depending on what you are eating, obviously. So when we look at nutrition, labels, you're going to use food labels to help you make better food choices. So you're going to check for the calories, which is going to say right here. And when you're doing that, you're going to look at the serving size. So in this one, the serving size is two and the calories are 250. So this is only one cup. So serving size is one cup. We've got two per container. So that means that we're going to have two cups, which would mean that we have 250 plus 250. This is going to be a total of 500 calories. So 
you always want to look at the serving size and actually consider how many servings you're actually consuming. So you're going to want to choose foods with, not always, um, lower calories, lower saturated fat, lower trans fat, um, try to limit your sodium. So you're also going to check for added sugars using the ingredients list. So here it tells us sugar is 5 grams, it tells us the total fat, and then a lot of times under total fat there will be a breakdown. So saturated fat, unsaturated, mono, poly, um, you want to limit your trans and saturated fat. Um, I always consider the mono and poly fats to be okay and healthy, but you still want to make sure that you're balancing your energy. So when you're looking at this, when you're looking at the serving size, it's two. One serving calories is 250. So how many calories would you consume if you ate the whole package? Mm -hmm. yeah, so you're going to consume 500. So let's take a look also at the grams of fat. So here we have a total for one serving 12 grams of fat. How many calories would you consume if you had eaten the whole container? Mm -hmm. Good, 24. So here we've got total fat, cholesterol, sodium. These are things you're going to want to watch out for and just make sure that you know you're not going over your percent daily value. Percent daily value is based on a 2,000 calorie diet. So not everyone is on a 2,000 calorie diet. So this is obviously going to vary. These are just kind of references to look at. Um, and then here we have our carbohydrates. It's going to tell you fiber and sugar. Those are both carbs, and then protein, it's going to tell you. And then down here, it's going to tell you vitamins. So you want to always look here. You want to make sure you're getting enough of these. And then it will tell you the percent of your daily um, value as well. And then there's a little footnote down here. So again, it's based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Your daily value may be higher or lower, depending on your needs. And then it's going to kind of break down how much you would need each day. Just a guide. Every person is different. Um, and just knowing that 5% or less of the daily value is considered low, 20% or more is considered high. So if we looked at the saturated fat here, it's got 3 grams. It's saying it's 15%. So that would be, it's not low or high, kind of average. But if we see 4% of vitamin A, that would be considered low. 20% calcium, we can consider that high. Okay, any questions? Okay, so portion versus a serving is what we're going to talk about next. So a portion is the amount of food item you eat at one time. So it's the amount served in a restaurant, amount offered in packaged foods, amount you choose to put on your plate. So that's a portion. A serving is a unit of measure listed on a food, products, nutrition, facts panel. So it's going to tell you the amount of calories and other nutrients in that particular serving of food. So it might say like cup or ounce. In this label it says one cup. Sometimes it might say, you know, 10 ounces or one ounce and then it's going to tell you how many servings of that is in the container. So again, the percent daily value shows how a food fits into a daily diet. It's based on a 2,000 calorie diet, and again, 5% is low, 20 or more percent is high. So highs and lows, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're getting enough of these. So your dietary fiber, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're getting enough fiber. Your vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, you wanna make sure that you're getting enough of those every day. And then you're gonna to wanna to kinda of limit, you know, watch your intake of saturated and trans fats. Also, just kinda of watching cholesterol and sodium. Every person is different, um, every person has different opinions on that, so, you know, do what works for you. 
Um, so which nutrients have high values? So fat, sodium, and calcium have high values. The nutrients that have a low value here are all of the vitamins here, 4%, 2%, 2%, and 4%. So calcium has a high value though, it's 20%. The fat has more of a high value because it's 18%. And sodium has high percent because it's 20%. And then the next thing that we're going to look at, it's not on here, but the ingredients list. So ingredients are listed in order from most to least. So when you're looking at a label, you're going to want to try to avoid added sugars. So when you think about it, um, you're going to want to look at what comes first. That's going to be the item that has the most, okay? So added sugars like cane sugar, high fruit, toast, corn syrup, things like that, you're going to want to try to avoid. Um, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you two different food items and they're kind of similar and we're going to look at their labels here. Just move this over. And then I'm going to ask you some questions today. So here we have Cheetos. We've got two different types. Here we've got the oven baked crunchy cheese Cheetos and we have the Cheetos flaming hot crunchy. So if we look here we're going to take a look at the first three ingredients. So on the oven baked crunchy cheese we've got enriched cornmeal and then in parentheses it tells you what that is. So it's a lot and then we have whey and cheddar cheese. And then for this one, it's not there, um, but that's the order of things that it, we would look at them. So when we look at this one, oven baked crunchy cheese Cheetos have 130 calories per serving. The serving is one ounce. Um, Cheetos Flaming Hot Crunchies have, um, crunchies, crunchy, have 160 calories per serving and that's one ounce. So can see here, this one would have less, this one has more. Um, but you don't only want to pay attention to the calories, you also want to look at the ingredients list. You know, typically things that have more ingredients are not as good for you, in my opinion. Um, so which item has the most sugar? So this one has less than one gram, and this one has zero grams. So in that case, this one would be a better choice if you were only looking at sugar. Which one has the most protein? So two grams, one gram, these, these have more. Which one has more fat? So five grams, it's got some saturated fat, no trans fat. This one has 11 grams, it has some saturated fat and no trans fat. So those are, this one has a little bit more. Uh -huh. Which one has more vitamins and minerals? So this one really doesn't have a lot, but this one you see how they added more. They've got um, niacin, riboflavin, flavin, phosphorus, magnesium. So this one has more. This one might be the better choice if we could see the ingredients list. We could really decide. But I would say, in my opinion, I would go with this choice, not being able to see the ingredients list there. It has more protein, it has more vitamins, it has less um, saturated fat. Let's see the salt intake. Sodium is 10%, sodium 10%, so they're about the same. All right, so let's take a look at another one here. So we're gonna look at Pop-Tarts and organic. Frosted toaster pastries, cherry pomegranate. And a lot of people think organic is better, so let's take a look here. So we've got the ingredients list on both of these. So this one is wheat flour, and then this one is enriched flour. Um, just from my 
knowledge, I've always heard that just getting pure wheat flour is always going to be better than enriched because I believe with enriched wheat flour, they take the grain out and dye it or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but I've always heard that just getting plain wheat flour is better because it, this is just more processed. Um, so our ingredients enriched flour, corn syrup, which is sugar and sugar, dextrose is sugar, high fructose corn syrup is sugar, soybean and palm oil. So this ingredient list does not look very good starting. So wheat flour, um, cane sugar, cane sugar, palm oil. So they're kind of similar. This one looks a little bit better, but still flour, sugar, flour, sugar, same ingredients. So if we look at calories, the serving size, in order to compare calories, we've got to look one pastry. So one pastry, there's eight servings per container, same thing, one pastry, six servings per container. So one strawberry Pop-Tart is 190, one of these toaster pastries is 200, so pretty similar, 10 calories difference. If we look at the fat, we've got four grams, and here we have four and a half, then we have one and a half saturated, two grams of saturated. We both don't have any trans fat. This one has polyunsaturated and monounsaturated, which I think is fine. Um, sodium, 8%, 6%, carbs, 37, 38, sugar, 17, 20, protein, about the same. So, vitamins. So I think this one has is a little bit more fortified because it does say that it's enriched, so I think that's where they add all these extra vitamins. But just based on this, I think they're pretty similar. If you're looking for better ingredients list, I would go with this one if you don't want that enriched flour. Um, but just because it's lower calorie doesn't mean that it's better. Here. Next, we're gonna look at two cereals. We're gonna look at Cookie Crisp and Honey Nut Cheerios. So I know Honey Nut Cheerios has, you know, kind of a good reputation of being healthy. They have here can help lower cholesterol and reduce heart disease. So let's take a look at the ingredients and compare it to Cookie Crisp. So here, whole grain oats, whole grain corn. After that, sugar, sugar cornstarch, cornmeal, canola oil, honey, brown sugar syrup. So it's about the same. I know that most cereals do fortify all of their um, vitamins, and I think that was due to um, making sure that women get the vitamin. Folic acid, so they want to make sure that women are getting that because that's important um, if you get pregnant for development of a baby and the spine. So I think that's why they started adding that cereal. So you'll see on a lot of cereals there are a lot of fortified vitamins. Um, but the ingredients, you know, just corn and oats. So if you think oats are better than whole grain corn, I wouldn't say it's that much better um, than cookie crisp. So this is three-fourths of a cup and this is three-fourths of a cup calories. Um, 100, 110, so plenty of cheers a little bit more. Um, total fat, 2%. It doesn't have any saturated or trans. This one is either. They both have the same amount of poly and mono and saturated. Um, Carbs, added sugars, nine, nine. Protein, this one has a little bit more protein, but you can see here, they have a lot of vitamins added to those. I would say that these are pretty similar choices. I don't think it's going to 
make much of a difference whether you choose one of those. One of them has a little bit more calories. Um, one of them has, you know, they're similar in vitamins and fats, proteins, and carbs. So, so I think these are pretty similar choices. Right, so we have one more we're going to look at today. So I've got these nut bars. So here we have the Kind bar and the Cliff bar, chocolate chip. So we look here is the nutrition facts. So we have one bar, 40 grams. Oops. Put this here. Okay. So same thing, one bar, this one is 68 grams. So calories, this is 200, 250. So I always like to look at the ingredients first. This almonds, peanuts, um, root fiber, honey. That looks pretty good. I like to look at like the first five. Um, and I also think that the longer the ingredient list, the more likely it's not as good for you. Um, this one, organic brown rice syrup, sugar. Organic rolled oats, soy protein, isolate organic cane sugar. So just looking at the ingredients, I think this one already looks better. Um, this one is fortified with vitamins and minerals, so you're getting more of those. As you can see, so if you want more vitamins and minerals, I would go with this. If you're looking for more kind of natural ingredients, I would go with this just based on that. Um, total fat 15, 5, one and a half saturated, three saturated. This one has some polyunsaturated and monounsaturated, probably from almonds and peanuts. Mm -hmm. Carbs added sugar, five, 21, protein, nine, six. Mm -hmm. So I would personally say this one is a better choice, but if you're looking for vitamins and minerals, this one has a lot more. Whereas this one has the basic four that they list. So I would say that the, you know, it just kind of depends on your needs. Um, calories are kind of similar. This one's a little bit more. Yeah, that is all that I have um, for today's lesson on reading um, nutrition labels. So I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you next time. Goodbye.